Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is brought to you by Only Pans on YouTube. Check it out. Hey, hey, what's going on, everyone? All right, my name is Jason. Welcome back to the channel. And man, I got my dryer going, so if you're wondering what all that noise is, it's my dryer making all that noise. Okay, so today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do... We're going to make some snackage. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. We're actually going to do some snackage. So, today we are going to do... Now, bear with me because I just made this name up. We're going to do... We're Actually, this is what you're going to use. We're actually... Okay, so this, these are going to be chocolate chip, peanut butter, nutty granola bars. Granola cookies. Yeah, that's that's what that's essentially that's what, what I'm trying to say. So what you're going to need for this is I had to gather all my thoughts. So essentially what you're going to need for this is Nestle Toll House cookies. This is a really good um, <coughs> this is really good to buy because it has total total fat four grams, saturated fat two grams, cholesterol to uh, ten milligrams, sodium eighty five milligrams, and sugar seven grams. So overall, it's not that bad, especially when you mix it in with the other ingredients, the other healthy ingredients, you're going to have a pretty nice, um, nice concoction of cookie dough and other stuff. Speaking of other stuff, we have uh, some French vanilla almond granola right here. Then we have some cinnamon, just to give it a little bit of flavor you know cinnamon makes everything better some nuts cashews and some other kind of mix nut, mixed nuts california medley there's almonds uh, and pistachios that we're going to use not so much the cranberries or our raisins we're going to filter those out flaxseed omega-3s three grams of fiber two grams omega-3 and three grams of protein 100 percent organic flaxseed right there organic honey right there I can see you honey sorry that was a, that was a bad joke I apologize and then Jif no sugar added alright guys let's go ahead and make these cookies my first time making these cookies so I don't know how they're gonna turn out um, so let's go ahead let's have some fun little dash of cinnamon like so give it some nice little flavor a little bit of flaxseed like so okay we have the nuts here cover them up because we are going to smash them you can use any kind of hammer you want but this time i'm going to use this hammer because i don't have anything else laying around i don't have uh my rubber hammer or any of that so but we're gonna smash them up nonetheless make sure you cover your nuts protect your nuts it's very important that you protect your nuts everybody must protect your nuts we're gonna smash them into little pieces because we need them as small as possible like I said this is not really a professional way to go about doing it but hey you know you use what you can let's see how well they broke up let's break up my nuts there we go looking magnificent and I missed a few pieces here and there. And then we'll crush them up some more. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, we should be good to go. Okay, we have the crush nuts. Pour the nuts into the bowl like so. Okay, so depending on how much peanut butter you want it's really up to you I'm gonna put I'm gonna put two scoops of peanut butter in here cuz damn it why the hell not two scoops of peanut butter and then last but certainly not least organic honey uh, this is gonna make all the difference because this is this is gonna is this is the ingredient that's gonna make your cookies really really soft well that and the peanut butter but make sure you get a healthy dose of honey in with your chocolate chip cookies 
that should be good guys let's go ahead and mix it and uh, let's see how well they turn out okay so we got the peanut butter mix all mixed up peanut butter cookie mix all mixed up if you want to get crazy you can always add more dark dark chocolate to it if you want to but it already has the chocolate chips in there got the pan right there put it on aluminum foil so nothing burns so let's go ahead and make it happen all right there they go guys on the aluminum foil we're going to pop them in the oven for about we'll say about 20 25 minutes and then after that, we'll let them uh, sit, and then let them let the heat uh, touch them, and then we'll wait for them to rise. That's what I meant to say. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Moment of truth. Voila. And there you guys have it. You have peanut butter, granola, uh, cookies, chocolate chip cookies. All ready to go. A little bit burnt on the edges, but nonetheless, we can make that happen. So we got to let it cool down, and then it's ready for feasting. So there you guys have it. Let me know if you guys have any interesting recipes. We'll go ahead and leave it at that. Just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next review. Peace out. Yeah.